hello guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'll be trading again with quarters broker and on this video i'm going to show you a very simple yet a great strategy on quarters all right so this strategy is actually one of my old strategies i just i was a call updated setup and it was a very 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 successful one so guys i want you guys to actually stay all through the video so that you understand perfectly each time i enter a trade all right so right now i'm going to actually redraw before i actually continue i'm going to redraw out of the what's it called my balance so let's go and redraw part here so on here let me actually put uh five thousand i'm actually taking the money on bitcoin all right so i already have my bitcoin here let me confirm the draw so right now i'll put up my pin okay i'll be i think um all right i have it here eight three one two seven five so let me confirm the draw so right now my draw request has been sent so let's go back to trading. Okay, you guys can see I've actually take 5,000 out of my balance. So I left with 5,000 to actually trade on today's video. Let's see how much I'm going to add up onto my balance. All right. So right here, guys, over here, I'm going to show you the perfect uh, was a call way to actually make use of this strategy so like i said i want you guys to stay tuned so right here we're using just two indicator the first indicator i'm using is called bollinger brand and this is the certain all right so this is a certain of a bollinger but on the period part i'm using it on 22 on the division is two i actually take all my color i was called my line here the line uh, the upper line the middle line and the top was it called the bottom line i actually take them so that's pretty much all you have to do so when you're done you actually just go back then go for uh what's it called you go and select a uh, sarcastic oscillator all right so this is the first indicator i use which is bollinger band i think it's right here this is it this is the bollinger band and a sarcastic oscillator all right so the setting of my sarcastic oscillator is very simple it's actually a default setting all you just have to do is to make sure you take all the line here and you're good all right so that's pretty much it so when you're done you just hit out so right now guys i'll be putting up my currency pairs i'll come down and explain in details how this work and each time i enter a trade i'll be explaining the reason why i enter the trade and the reason why i think is the best time to put in the trade all right so let me put up my currency quick up real quick guys okay guys i've actually put up my currency pair up there real quick so right here i'm going to explain in details to you how this strategy works like i said this is actually a very simple strategy but you always need to wait each time i take a trade so that you understand because i'm going to be explaining in details each time i enter a trade <coughs> so that you understand the reason why i take each of my trades should in case when you see that at your own end all right so but before i actually take a trade let me explain uh, real quick how this strategy works so the number one thing we're actually looking at here if we want to take a trade everything needs to follow a trend all right so we need to watch out with our especially our sarcastic oscillator is what we need to really watch out on this strategy and where we have the trend on with our candlestick on the bollinger band all right so i'm going to use this particular place for example for example if we're going for a down trade or the only thing we need to do is to make sure that we have our candlestick hit up out of the bollinger band in the overbought position <coughs> So what I mean, what I say here is that make sure the candlestick that you can like you're watching to take a trade on must actually bridged out of the upper part of Bollinger Band here. All right. So when that happened, confirm this with your sarcastic oscillator on this part. You need your sarcastic oscillator both line, the green and the red, to intersect each other. They must actually crosses each other on their way down before you actually take a trade. The particular candle we're going to take a trade right now is on the reverse candle. Sorry go back it's definitely going to be on this particular candle right here this reverse candle so immediately you have i uh, was it called immediately the confirmation candle right here actually out of the bollinger band the next candle is going to be the one we are taking a trade on but we're going to take a trade on we're going to take a trade on the candle only if it's reverse and the confirmation of your sarcastic oscillator to confirm that the number one thing is to have your conf uh, what's it called your sarcastic oscillator in a very strong overbought position the boot line must intersect each other and they must actually be coming down on the trend before you place a trade all right if you actually enter the trade right here you can have locked up in the money we are doing this on terminate don't forget that so we're doing this on terminate i think i'll be doing 500 dollar trade per trade all right so we're doing this on two minute and of course on one minute candle time frame i'm actually using this on heineke asher candy 
all right so the i'm using it on hand cash you can do on a one minute can do time frame all right so that's pretty much it so right now guys i'll be analyzing the market and the same thing happens sorry the same thing happens if you are going for an up trade the only thing you need to do uh the only thing you need to confirm is to always make sure that you have um okay let me use this lucky okay, let me get a good example all right so the only thing you need to have is to always make sure that you have the candle your confirmation candle must actually bridge in the oversold position of the bollinger band it will actually cross down the bottom line of the bollinger band confirm this with your sarcastic your sarcastic intersection of the boat line must happen going up on the trend and we're definitely going to take a trade on the reverse candle i hope this is clear so right now i'll be analyzing the market so when I get a good moment, I'll come down and take a trade. And of course, I'll be explaining the details again. The reason why I entered the trade and how I think is the best moment for me. All right. So I've been analyzing now, guys. Okay, guys. So over here, I'm actually catching up a moment. As you can see over here, the intersection of our, uh, what's it called? Sarcastic oscillator has happened here. They're actually trying, it's trying to actually come down on the train. The same thing is happening right here. Our confirmation, our candle has actually hit uh, out of the Balinga band in the overbought position and the reverse candle is happening. But right now, the reverse candle wasn't actually giving us a very, uh, what's it called? Great moment. I used to tell you that always make sure that you have a very strong reversal before you enter a trade. It's very important. So right now, I'm not going to enter this trade i'll still be keeping our uh, eyes on this trade so when i have a very strong reversal it's only then i'm going to enter a trade don't forget that like i used to say when you're having i uh, was call a plus i uh, was call kind of a candle like this it's actually referred to a doji candle if you are have if you if you're actually familiar with forex you actually refer to it as doji candle and when doji candle happen in the market it means indecision in the market you never can say what will happen you never can say maybe the buyer is still trying to push it up or the seller will take over from the buyer all right so when that happens you can never really determine any trade with a doji can do always make sure that you have a very strong reversal before you decide to enter a trade it's very important guys so right now i'll be keeping an eye on this particular trade but i'll still be analyzing so when i get another good moment I'll, i can take a trade but i can still be coming back to this because it's actually a very perfect moment but i need it to actually reverse for real before i enter a trade i hope that is clear so right now i'll be analyzing now guys okay guys this is actually a very strong reversal okay the reversal is actually happening right here the intersection has happened and as you can see let me actually enter this trade real quick and as you can see um we are actually having a very good uh what's it called um downtrend with our sarcastic oscillator like i said always make sure that you have a strong reversal right here i was actually um what's it called i was actually late before i entered the trade because it's actually a very strong reversal i should have entered the trade before this candle pop up but nevertheless this is actually a very great moment so guys let's wait and see the strategy right here is always make sure that you have the confirmation candle you're looking at is always bridged out of your balanga band is very important then the next candle should be a very strong reversal just like what happened then you can actually enter a trade but always make sure that you keep your eye on your sarcastic all the time because that is where we are getting our signal from make sure that the intersection of your boat line of sarcastic happened they're both intersect in the overboard position and they're coming down on the trend before you enter a trade all right it's very important we are doing this for two minutes don't forget that this is two minute strategy always make sure that you're doing this on two minutes not one minute because you need to give it enough time for it to actually follow the trend all right so you can do this in a one minute because um so what's it called the market can stay static within one minute and you may lose out so always do this with two minutes before allow the market to do it thing what's it called allow the trend to do it thing coming down the market before you are out of the trade all right always make sure that you're doing it on a longer period so guys, let's wait and see. Okay, good one there. So the reason why I usually like to use uh, what's it called um, Heineke Ash candy is like they are very stable candy stick compared to normal candy, all right? So I think a lot of people have been asking me that and I, I just want to address it now. The reason why I love using Heineke Ash, they are more stable than the normal candy, all right? So that's the reason why I love using it. I love using it to analyze my chart a lot, analyze my market a lot, and I love using it while trading as well, all right? So they are very, very stable compared to the normal candy. A good one there and the money on that guys as you can see this actually a very perfect moment what's it called perfect trade let's keep analyzing so guys when i get another good moment i'll come down and take a trade 
okay guys there's something i want to point out for you guys real quick there is what we call in our what's it called in predictable trade and this is a part of it all right so when you're seeing something like this please stay out of it because no matter what it is very hard for you to predict especially like uh, that is the reason why i really love sarcastic oscillator it's going to tell you as you can see our sarcastic oscillator has been here for a very long time the decision was not even really happened the intersection has happened multiple times but the trade kept reversing all right so when you're seeing something like this as you can see especially when you say that you have a breach out of your sarcastic oscillator and the candlestick on that trend either uptrend or downtrend has stake stay on that position for a very long while please always stay out of that uh, kind of a trade because there's no how you might actually think it's the right time to actually enter a trade and you might actually get a very good moment with your sarcastic you can you can enter the trade and the candle will reverse again as you can see the same thing happened right here all right the candle actually came down here and i'm so certain that sarcastic authority by that time we're definitely going to go down if you actually enter this trade it's going to reverse on you the same thing happened on the risk handle please on this particular kind of a trade always make sure you're staying out of this kind of trend if you see something like this in the market we actually refer to it as um like it's unpredictable like you are you you never can say what might happen if you enter the trade all right so that's just it so always make sure you're staying out of this kind of a trade i just want to stop real quick and show you guys in case you find this at your own end it's very important all right i'm going to take this trade out then keep analyzing so when i get a good moment i'll come down and take a trade okay guys over here we're finding a good moment all right as you can see the reversal is happening right here the intersection of our sarcastic accelerator has happened but i need to have a strong reversal like i used to say before i put in a trade so let's make sure that the reversal that is happening you confirm it to be strong as you can see this is actually a very strong one so right now let's actually enter the trade and if you actually check our sarcastic accelerator you can see that we have a very uh, what's it called strong downtrend the green line is actually pulling down an intersection of the boat line happened so a good one here guys let's actually wait and save what's gonna happen in the next two minutes so guys the reason why i usually like you guys to be doing this on two minutes is very simple the reason why is the fact that especially in this kind of a trade if you actually check out my last uh what's it called video on pocket option i think this is the same kind of um what's it called kind of a trend i used to talk about so the reason why i'm doing this on two minutes is always make sure that immediately because we are trying to take over the market from the trend like from the uptrend for example this particular one and now the, the, there's been an uptrend for a very long while and we just um the downtrend are just trying to take over so when that happened you need to give it enough time because they won't allow you to to actually take over the market like that they're going to delay you a little while so if you actually do this on one minute you might actually stay on that risky zone of delayment all right so let's make sure that you do it more than one minute if you do it in one than one minute um you what's it called in the next few seconds or in the next one minute the market would definitely gonna come down so starting off that all right so but always make sure that you're doing this more than one minute don't do it on two minutes i mean sorry don't do it on one minute or less than one minute or one minute just do it nothing less than two minutes all right so that you can always uh locked up in the money at the end of the trend it's very important so guys let's wait and see is gonna be another good one which i'm so certain of okay guys a good one there we lot in the money on that it's a perfect one let's keep analyzing so guys i hope you understand what i'm doing here this is a very simple strategy but please always make sure that you watch my next trade because i'm actually have something to share with you just like um the other time when i actually tell you that kind of trend all right so uh it depends on what i see while analyzing the market i would definitely going to tell you so always make sure you watch each time i enter the trade all through the video so that you understand everything i said or everything i did all through that particular video all right don't just jump into a trading just because you watch part of my video and you don't complete it or let's make sure that you watch all my video like especially every time i take a trade so that you can perfectly understand what i'm doing with that strategy all right so i'm going to skip analyzing guys so when i get another good moment i'll come down and take a trade okay guys i'll actually catch up with the downtrend here let me actually enter this trade real quick all right so this is actually a very strong downtrend it's actually a very strong downtrend candlestick this first candlestick right here but i'm unable to catch up with that but i'm still very certain that this trend is going up from the second candlestick so that's the reason why i actually place the trade on the second one and if you actually check out our sarcastic oscillator you can see that the intersection has happened here and it has been coming down a very strong downtrend so guys, let's wait and see if this is going to be a good moment.
All right, so I'm going to fast forward this video to the end and let's see how this trade is going to play it out. All right. All right, guys, I think we're in the last seconds right now. Okay, good moment there. We end the money on that. That's a very profit one. So, guys, I hope you actually understand this. I'll be analyzing again. I think I'll be taking my last trade. And then when I get a good moment, I'll come down and take a trade. Okay, guys, this is actually a very good one. I actually entered a trade quickly. I just find um, the moment right now. So, I have to put in the trade on time. As you can see over here, um, this is where the rebounds actually happen on our reverser. All right, actually generated this one. So I just come across about this trend. I just have to enter the trade. And the reason why I'm so positive about this is the fact that we have a very great downtrend with our sarcastic right here in the oversold position. And the trend boot line actually go up very strong that really touch back the oversold line. So this is actually a very perfect uptrend. So that's the reason why I am so positive about this particular trade. All right, you know, sometimes there will be a trade that you don't just want to lose the opportunity. I just have to put in the trade no matter what, because I'm so certain that this trend is going to go up so good. All right. So, guys, let's wait and see if there's going to be a good moment in the next couple of seconds. I think I have less than 50 seconds to close this trade. So, guys, let's wait and see if there's going to be a good one in the next few seconds. All right. All right, guys, a good one there. We end the money on that as a very perfect one. So, guys, this is where I'm going to actually stop onto this trade. I think I actually made like $3,000 profit on this particular trade, and it was actually a very good one. So, guys, once again, the number one thing we are looking at with this strategy is very simple. The number one thing, so always make sure that you have a very strong uh, trend alongside our a very strong trend, which is sarcastic. If you are going for an up trade, make sure you have your sarcastic, your both line sarcastic in the oversold uh, position. The intersection must happen. Let them see them going up in the trend before you enter the trade. Another thing you need to look out with your candlestick is to always make sure that the candlestick actually bridged out or really close to the uh, what's it called to the uh, bottom line here and the reverse candle is very strong guys please always make sure that the reverse candle you place your trade on is a very strong one not doji candle like this but it's actually a very a good example of a strong reverse candle when that happened make sure you enter your trade on time i'm gonna lock up in a profit i'm so certain of that and another thing you need to put in mind is that we are doing this on two minute all right do this a minimum of two minutes don't do it less than two minutes make sure you're doing this on two minutes so that we can actually going to be on a very safer side with the trend all right so that was just it guys i hope um you actually enjoyed the video if you like the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my next upload and if you haven't i uh, used this uh broker before which is quarters you can use the link in the description to actually sign up if you sign up today you're gonna have 50 percent discount in your account to actually trade on on your first deposit and if you still want to try this out you can actually when you sign up with my link you're going to have like ten thousand demo account all right that you can actually use to practice off before you decide to go live uh was it before you decide to go, to go on your live account all right so like i said earlier on another thing my telegram link is right there on the description is definitely going to be there too on the pinned comment make sure you actually join the telegram group to be the part of the family you're going to be the first to know each time i am posting a video or if i have something important to post out across to you guys i love you guys and i'll see you on another video